are the Orlando Magic doing what is going on y'all five sports talk back at it with another video talking of course some NBA here to bring you guys more NBA trade deadline news and as always make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on post notifications for all of the latest news because I'm going to be bringing you guys my analysis on that but with that being said let's talk about the Orlando Magic who just traded away point guard Alfred Payton to the Phoenix Suns for, wait for it, a 2018 second round pick. And that's it. That's it, folks. Just a second round pick and that's it. Our... It took me a while to process this when I first heard this news when uh, Adrian Wojnarowski reported this trade because I'm trying to figure out what the hell the Orlando Magic are doing. And I am telling you, folks, this is is as perplexing of a trade as I've seen in years. Usually when trades like this happen, that feels just so one-sided, and I'm just like, wait, what the hell? Why would the Magic accept this? This is an NBA team after all, okay? this is These are NBA-level general managers. John Hammond, who was previously the Milwaukee Bucks general manager, he's now the general manager of the Orlando Magic. And so you're thinking, okay, these guys are getting paid to do this, so they should know what they're talking about. But at the end of the day, not everybody can be good at everything, right? Not everyone's good at their job, so... Let's see with the Orlando Magic, what motive could they have for trading away their point guard, Alfred Payton, who is just 22, 23 years of age, and he's got what? He's still on his rookie contract. Next year is going to be the qualifying offer that you extend out to him, and then he'll be a restricted free agent. So it's not like he has a chance to walk or you have to extend him right away. It's still a qualifying offer. But what the hell? Do you want to trade him for? And at that point, if you do want to trade him, if Alfred Payne, you, for some reason, you just don't like his hair. You just don't like Alfred Payne's hair, and you're like, all right, I'm tired of looking at his hair every day. I want to get rid of him. At that point, can you at least get something of value besides a second-round pick? I mean, are you kidding me? This is the second-round pick that's not even the Suns. This is Phoenix sending a 2018 second-round pick via Memphis. Okay, so the Suns didn't even have to give up their own second-round pick. They sent some other team's second-round pick. Now, I'm hearing that's a high second-round pick, but still. And you are trying to process this trade, and you're thinking, wow, I really couldn't get anything besides a second-round pick. I have a feeling the Phoenix Suns might have just thrown this out there as a joke, and the Orlando Magic accepted. I mean, that's really all I can think of. I mean, the Suns might have been like... What about a second round pick? I mean, that's probably what they started with and the Magic are like, okay, sure. So uh, other than that, I mean, I'm really at a loss for words here. Uh, there was rumors that the Orlando Magic were looking to trade Alfred Payton. So I'm not going to say I'm surprised Payton is traded. Again, it's about getting surprised of what he was traded for, okay? And the Knicks were involved. Now, apparently, the Magic were asking for Frank Tilakina, which... Okay, that makes sense. Now you're asking for some value. The Knicks shut that down, and then they traded for Emmanuel Moutier from the Nuggets. So that made sense there. But over here, you're not trading for anything. And usually when teams are looking to trade players, I mean, if it's an older guy, they have a young guy waiting in the wings. But Alfred Payne's young himself. He's got veterans behind him. He's got freaking DJ Augustine and Shelvin Mack. All right? The point guard depth on the Ma Magic roster isn't exactly deep or young, okay? So again, that doesn't make sense. Remember when the Atlanta Hawks traded away Jeff Teed? And that kind of made sense because they had Dennis Schroeder waiting in the wings. And now you see Dennis Schroeder. He is a, is a starting caliber quality point guard in this league. But with the Magic, you have DJ Augustine and Shelvin Mack behind Alfred Payton. And you get a second round pick for him, folks. I'm telling you... The Orlando Magic front office does not know what the hell they're doing. I would not be surprised if Aaron Gordon is traded for, you know, a, a bag of peanuts and pocket lint, okay? Because at this point, I have lost all faith in this organization. I don't know what they're doing with their young players. I don't know what direction they're trying to go in. Uh, if anything that they're doing resembles any sort of a plan, even if you plan to tank and be bad, my God, like, be able to acquire some quality assets First round picks I know are premium, but Alfred Payton is no scrub. He can play. I like Alfred Payton. And, you know, pe teams say that he, he can't shoot that well, but he's still able to um, be a dynamic point guard. He's, he's an all-around type of point guard, and he's going to help the Suns, man. The Suns got a great deal here. They're able to basically upgrade that point guard position, which was, you know, 
a revolving door all season long. They had Mike James and they had Tyler Eulis. Then they made Devin Booker play point guard. So now they'll have Alfred Payton at the one, Devin Booker at the two. Now you've got T.G. Warren, Marquise Chris, Tyson Chandler to round out their starting five. And you've got a solid bench. You've got Josh Jackson, your lottery pick. You've got Dragon Bender, who's so showing some signs of promise. So you've got some quality depth now on the bench as well. And now, like you said, you've got that starting pointer. Not to mention, they still have Brandon Knight on their roster as well. So this is a great deal for the Phoenix Suns. They are able to get stay younger, okay? Because Alfred Payne, like I mentioned, is still very young. And he's still on his rookie contract. So not, you don't add too much salary in that sense. And so now you're able to sort of build... A, a nucleus if you will so I like this move a lot for the Phoenix Suns I hate it for the Orlando Magic I don't think you guys need to ask me who won or lost this trade you already know okay so like I said I've lost all faith in the Orlando Magic I don't think they know what the hell they're doing and they have shown me with this move that they don't know what the hell they're doing I'm worried about Aaron Gordon and what's going to happen to him but at this point this was probably or actually this was easily the worst move of the trade deadline so far for the Orlando Magic and for really all if you're taking all of the other teams combined so again don't know what the hell the Magic are thinking they got absolutely fleeced hosed I feel like Stephen A. Smith right now they've got uh, they've got bamboozled led astray run amok whatever you want to say it it's that bad in Orlando folks you should be if you're a Magic fan you should be mad at your team this morning so let me know what you guys think about this trade and why the Orlando Magic just hate Alfred Payton and couldn't get anything but a second round pick for him. Um, I'm sure if they reached around, I'm sure they could have gotten more from other teams because at this point, I, it is hard for me to believe that all you can get for Alfred Payton is a second round pick. But that is what it is, folks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. Hit me up on my social media. Link down below for that. Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed, stay tuned, and as always, thanks for watching.